Hi folks, it's quite a busy weekend for most of us. I haven't done a, a more traditional painting this week, being, well, I haven't painted for a couple of days, but uh, mostly been abstract. Uh, I hope some of you, well, I know some of you have, have enjoyed them. Another different way to paint. Another different way to paint. Um, so, acrylic. I've, th these paints have been in here since the, on this page, since the week before last. So, um, I'm, you can probably see some of it. I was paid a compliment that uh, the uh, palette itself looks, or on the oil one, looks uh, a bit of an abstract as well. Uh, so, let's, uh, I'll just pour out a bit, of, a bit more cad red. Uh, just, a, just a rural scene, nothing special to keep the pot boiling. So, I've wet the paper. And I'm going to put it in the sky now, so we can use a bit of medium, which I have here, and help it flow a bit, and I hope it doesn't fall on the floor. So let's just move that there, put that there. Okay, put a bit of a sky in, so a bit of blue, beautiful weather we're having. I should be out with a barbecue later. So just just put some some paint on. Wife's well, probably tried a little bit, a bit jellyfied. But the water was just to make it flow a bit easier. I don't really want to prime it today because I'll have to dry it and. Uh, we just no, we don't. It's trees and sky, maybe a bit of water. I've got a board ready to go with an abstract. It's, I painted it black. I was waiting for it to dry, but that was the other day. I haven't been near the paint yet. It's just a bit busy. Busy time of the year, the Easter weekend, isn't it? Okay, yes, so I had a bit of a bit of a yellow, a bit of a bit of red, a bit of white. Been on the bike ride this morning. It was the second time I've done it this week with, with my son and grandson on the wandle. Lovely loads of people out. Lots of cyclists, lots of dogs, lots of old dogs like me. Okay, just a basic lay in here. I'm just using up the uh, paint on the palette and I want to try to make this as sort of abstract as possible. So a bit of red, a bit of blue, in with that mix. Just a bit of, bit of cloud. Okay, <coughs> in the water. I'm now going to put in some, some trees, so a bit of uh, black, a bit of blue, a bit of white, plenty of blue. Either side of the bundle. Right, clean that brush. A little bit of egg. Haven't you had a cup of tea yet? I got straight back. We left about half past nine and got back about 20 to 12, I suppose. Had a cup of tea halfway at Merton Abbey. Very nice. And the river looked particularly lovely. There wasn't a great deal of water, well, there was water, it's a river, but. Um, we haven't had any rain to speak of lately. So the uh, water is, is a bit slow and we could see the bottom of the, of the chalk stream. It's, it's a, we're called a Surrey chalk stream and it runs into the Thames and, and it's, it's, it's a lovely, lovely little river. 
Okay, let's just put a bit of black and a bit of, bit of yellow there, which I like. I like that mix. No detail, just a, just a lot of different greens, just a bit of red. I'll put the blue in just to give a bit of distance to that that shows from the back when it's not really shiny. But all the trees are getting their leaves together now. And Blossoms out, it's a lovely time of year, isn't it? Easy to be happy when the sun shines. Oh, that's a bit of a wind in there. Bit of room. Okay. Alright, I think we can develop these trees. I'm going to, I'll go over them. Oh, you hear children playing in the gardens. Oh, I hope we, all you in the UK are enjoying this beautiful weather. Brighton Beach will be uh, smothered in burning bodies. Right, that's... Uh, some more variety in those greens. Bit too solid there. There's a bit of the river that runs along what we call Dean City Farm. It's a it's a suburban farm and it's very popular with children obviously and their parents have something to do. It's overloaded with cars trying to get in and out. It's not so good if you're trying to get through on your bike sometimes. Ooh, no, 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 no. See how quickly you can change with acrylic. Right, let's go back on the uh, oh, sort of foreground out. So I'll just give you something in for a river. You can't actually get this view because you'd be standing in the middle of the river, wouldn't you? But we'll imagine that there's a bend there in the river. Right, we can put a bit of reflection going in there. Now we have a nice bit of, I if that's the right sort of mix of black and yellow. That will uh, put in, get some bright, get some brights in there. I'm going to get the masses on, then I can start differentiating between the planes. Couple of pieces of wood. It's got these things that, that, that hold the board in place, but they're they're too big. Oh, let's get that one
get that nice and light on the top there. So it'll just come in down there, and come maybe about there. to try another yellow, a cheap, cheapo yellow, which I bought last year down in Hastings, cadmium yellow. Mm -hmm. some of that out, but I bought two of those. They're only a pound each. Can't bother with that. Oh, this is that in there, a bit of white. Catching the light going up here, these grasses and, and uh, bramble. Right, okay. Do some on the other side. Bit of um, ochre as well, I'm putting in there, just a touch. Well, I'll never have a bit of shadow going out there. trees in there, or shrubby trees. It's much nicer yellow, huh? I'll put some mauves in there, I think, just to separate the masses. Piece of brush. Somebody left a comment last week, or earlier in the week, uh, too much chat. I didn't think much of that. If they don't like it, they don't have to watch, do they? No. I like to have a little chat with my friends. Right, well, I think we can just put a bit of distance in there. Some people can be very rude. Playing in a free video, my word. Comes to something, doesn't it? I don't think I've ever put an unlike on someone's video. If they don't like it, they don't have to watch, they've given it to me for nothing. How many of you have had a look at some of uh, Sean, uh, oops, sorry, Sean Scully's abstract work? I'm fascinated by him. Not my favourite. I, Hodgkin is my favourite, but um, I've, I looked at Sean Scully's work and I was just knocked over by it. And he said anyone can do it. Well, I have sold abstracts in the past, but I, I just get drawn back into the landscape all the time. Well, not a bad thing, but so this is all about abstracts of it, isn't it? I 
I'm just going to get that, get that water in there. Bit of ochre. We will go back in, into that sky in a minute, but I just want to just sort that out. All very distinct. I'll put some shadow down there as well. Okay, that's looking better. We just need to get more light in that water. Uh, plenty of white with that ochre. Shadows. I don't want that to dry for a little bit. Just using the edge of the brush. Right, clean the brush. Go back and get that sky. Uh, use this other brush. Just ultramarine, a bit of white. I think most of this paint's going to get thrown away. No, it looks a bit blue and white, not a grey. So we use it now. I've got some lighter clouds over some of that. Let's make them lighter if we go down to the down to the bottom. Paint down to the trees. Filling those bits there. Touch lighter, I think. Yeah. 
They yellow rather than pink. A bit of red, a bit of blue. I'll stop when I think it's uh, sort of passable. Just evolving. We had a lot in for, for lunch yesterday and we had uh, two little Jack Russells. They were quite well behaved. Poor cat freaks out, so we have to look him in the bedroom. He looks out the window. Old Harry. Just bending some of that stark blue ultramarine. Right, I'll go back onto that, uh, the sky now. Then we'll have, we'll have to separate these planes here. Oh, I can do that with a lighter colour. I can do that with uh, ochre and a bit of white. Doing it. Softening everything now. Put a bit of light back. The paper's a little bit bent now, and it's just because of the high spots. Oh, let's get a bit of white and a bit of, a bit of that nice yellow. I think I'll just put in some strokes of reed. Put in a bit, of, a bit of this and that. Now that gives a contrast between the dark and the light now, I think. Oh, let's get that yellow in there. A darker yellow. It's all green, really. Whoever wanted. So look at that shade of the greens just on the new leaves. I oh, no detail on that one. Let's get a bit of that shot. Blue and leave red. It's a good, I reckon that's a good, good mix for, for dark, warm darks rather than using black or anything else. So. Okay. Put in a bit of shadow now, down, down here. Mm. 
Oops. Right, let me put water back. Clean brush. I've got to get that nice blue colour in that water. Just put a little bit of detail in those banks for reeds. those ripples back. Keep this in the camera. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, put it in a mount. Uh, where do I find my masking tape? Oh, there it is. Why is it up there? Stretch of a, the river one will. It's the best I'm going to do this week. <coughs> uh, maybe just a little bit of lighter stuff or across or darker stuff. It's just a little bit too close in contrast. Uh, a bit of that blue and a bit of red. Yes. Sort of a warm dark. See how that was your dogs? There was none of that yesterday. By the way, these dogs didn't have anything to bark with, they were so small. But they're very lovely, aren't they? Sort of lappy dogs. And we did enjoy having them. There weren't any poppies out in this, it was all bluebells. Oh, that's an idea. The bluebells. Been amongst the nettles. No 
notice any irises. Well, there we are. One acrylic painting. I'll sign it. In fact, I'll sign it with a pen. If I could find a pen, that is. And there we are. Is that dry there? That's dry enough. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, folks. Happy Easter to you all. And see you next week. Bye-bye.